Hello, welcome back. We're going to start building Hawker Hurricane Mark 1, 172, and it's an Airfix kit as you can see. I'm only going to use what's in the kit. I'm going to use, uh, except for a couple of little bits. I'm going to change the paintbrush for uh, a wide flat one, and I think that's about it actually. The tools I'm going to use, it doesn't have a recommended set of tools, but what I've decided to do is just use the normal tools that I use on my kit, which is very basic. A pair of tweezers, a pair of side cutters, a knife, and a couple of different grades of sandpaper. They're actually nail files, if everybody had their own. The instructions, all the bits, that's the whole kit laid out there. The instructions, and I'll follow them as I go. Paint it as I need to, and I think there's a couple of bits need to be painted before they're assembled. And that's about where we're up to. So what I'll do, I'm going to do this slightly differently. I'm going to do the whole thing as one video. And I'm going to video the whole process of building the model. But I'm going to whiz through the bits uh, that, that are boring and just pause at the bits... Um, that I might need to comment on or that need a little more intricate detail and I'm going to overdub the voice on it so if it sounds a bit weird it's the first time I've done it first thing I'm going to do before I start is 99p for 100 um, Aldi I think it were they are and it's a little alcohol wipe take them out and these large surfaces especially because we're going to brush paint them need to be cleaned just in case there's any residue from the, the, the moulding on them so and it's literally a case of give them a quick wipe a little bit of alcohol on there it will evaporate off very quickly there we go that's that done Okay, seems that the smaller the parts are, because the parts are so small on here, I'm having difficulty to read the sprues and find the bits. So there they are, cut off. The glue seems to be rather thick. So what I'm going to do is put it on a, um, a pallet and apply it with a cocktail stick. Should make a lot less mess. I turn the sp sprue cutters round the other way so that I don't get too close and I can file the rest of it off. Otherwise it'll leave a mark on the on the front edge of this piece and you'll see it a mile away. All nice and clean.
The little wax dibber are about a pound for five on Amazon. They're used for costume jewellery. I can't remember exactly what they're called, uh, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the ones you buy from a, uh, a model shop. Okay then, here we go, a little bit of painting, colour 90 is for the whole of the inside of this piece. I've thinned the paint with a couple of drops of dishwasher rinse aid. It does exactly the same thing as a flow improver at a fraction of the cost and if I brush paint in it, it, it will hide or should hide all the brush lines now while we've got that little bit of paint we don't want to waste it so the bits that have got to be colored this color as well we can paint on the sprue And of course, because I've thinned the paint, everything will need a second coat, two coats of, uh, of pretty much every colour. Quite a few of these little bits need painting now before it's uh, the, the fuselage is put together and then of course before it's sat on the wing. Otherwise you'll see bits of grey plastic all over the place.
It does say 33 on there. These pots are very fiddly and they're only half full. I did cheat a little with the transfers, decals as some people call them, and used a little bit of Humbrol decal fix. This is a brush that came with the kit, it's a home roll number two. Okay, as you can see, although most of the parts fit together really quite well, there's quite a gap on the top of the fuselage there, just behind the cam uh, cockpit. We'll fill that in a bit.
put the little tail piece in there so that it spreads this wide enough to fit on the wings before it's the glue sets. Going back to the gap at the, behind the cockpit on the top of the fuselage, you can do two things. You can buy some specialist filler to fill it, or you can mix your own, basically. If you take a little piece of the sprue and sand it down until you've got a coarse powder, then mix it with some of your glue, your poly glue. The poly glue will dissolve the, uh, the plastic sprue, and then you can put it onto whatever it is you're going to fill and sand it down later, you wouldn't know the difference. Once all the bits are glued together and all the glue's hardened, I'd give it an hour or two, then sand it all off, sand it all until it's smooth. And I've used a couple of nail files, a knife to cut any big bits off, some uh, wet and dry emery paper, and for a final polish up, basically a nail polishing file is very, very fine, and it'll polish the plastic back to where it was before you started. If you want a nice paint job, it's essential to clean it all up before you start painting it. Well, hopefully, if you're still watching and you're not bored to tears, you'll be looking forward to the next one. Uh, unbelievably, that took me to get to this point here, about six hours. And I've <laughs> seen videos of kids doing it in, in, in a couple of hours. Hey-ho, maybe I'm too fussy. The next one will be uh, finalise the, the building of the kit, and then the one after that will be to paint it. See you soon. Ta-da.